The right raw materials can double or triple the protective power of the immune system. Dr. Joel Foreman. I'm Ivy Sepe. I'm a health and empowerment coach and I help people get through life's barriers through coaching and mentoring sessions. I want to talk about some tips on how we can support our immune function. And I am not a doctor. I am just a person who experienced some health challenges in the past. And these are all based on research and what I apply to myself. I also believe that uh, we are all different. What worked for me may not work for you. And if you have to go to a doctor, please do so. So as a supporter of health and empowerment, what I like doing is telling people, alam nyo ba, we actually have authority and power over our health. But we have to be intentional. If you want to be healthy, no one will do it for us. We may read the right books, we may attend all of the seminars out there, but if we will not apply it in ourselves, baka hindi po natin makita yung results na gusto natin makita sa sarili natin. The goal of this video is to provide you some personal stories on how my view changed because of some transformative experiences in the past. So, sino ba ako? Who is Ivy Sepe? I am uh, currently married to my husband, Don, and we have a son. His name is Francis. He is four years old, and we also run our business at home. Pero kung sino yung nakikita nyo ngayon, this was not me five to seven years ago. So, um, I grew up in the slums of Tondo. Alam nyo, syempre, galing ako sa mahirap na pamilya, and I really want to change my life. So, masipag ako sa pagtatrabaho, masipag ako sa, sa pag-aaral ko. I actually um, became a sales lady to support myself during Christmas and summer vacations. So, kapag ka walang pasok, nagtatrabaho po ako. Uh, scholar din po ako ng SM Foundation. So, bata pa lang ako, I had that drive to succeed. Hindi dahil sa may gusto lang ako patunayan, kundi gusto ko po talaga magkaroon ng pera at gusto ko maging successful. Um, while I was growing up, paglabas ko ng college, dala-dala ko yung kasipagan ko po na yun. And nakapag-start na negosyo and I felt the success in my life. So tuloy-tuloy ko po siyang ginagawa until such a time that I developed habits that were detrimental to myself, to my health, like uh, hindi pagtulog ng maayos, hindi pagkain ng maayos, kasi syempre lagi ako nagmamadali, and available lang sa labas is yung mga nabibili natin, di ba, mga fast foods po. At the same time, um, I also developed this um, negative thinking, negative patterns. I thought before na sobrang positive person ako, pero Meron, na-develop ko pa rin pala talaga yung negative thinking, no? Siguro dahil sa, sa drive ko talaga to succeed. So, dumating ako sa point na hindi ako makafunction na maayos. And maybe my body was telling me, Ivy, pahinga naman tayo. Let's rest for a bit. Baka pwede naman magpahinga. So, I, I was neglecting all those signals from my body until one day, I suddenly had a panic attack. Tapos nagkaroon ako ng depression, anxiety. Um, I was really trying to work. I was showing up sa trabaho, sa negosyo. But then, I really failed miserably. Hindi na ako yun eh. Hindi ko maiharap yung IV before. So, trabaho pa rin ako, diretso pa rin. I was looking for solutions. Pero hindi pa talaga dumating sa akin that time eh. Until um, it became chronic fatigue syndrome, um, I developed orthostatic hypotension. Yung hindi po ako nakakatayo, kapag ka tumatayo ako, sobrang nahihilo ako. I had vertigo. Um, I also had hypothyroidism, uh, brain fog. Dumating sa point na I was just lying in bed for two years and my husband was uh, taking care of me. Dinadala lang nila yung pagkain sa kama or kapag ka nasa sofa lang ako. Dumating din sa point na pinapaliguan ako ng asawa ko. Pero alam niyo while I was going through that, since positive thinker ako, I know that there is solution. Alam ko na magkakaroon, matatapos din to at makakalabas din ako sa, sa cycle na yun. 
grabe ilang taon ko po siyang pinagdadaanan and I'm just so grateful na ito po ako ngayon nasa harap po ninyo and I am sharing these things with you so these tips were the things that helped me get through it and get out of it but I also believe in bio-individuality what worked for me may not work for you so it's still best to consult your doctor those years of looking for solutions led me to several discoveries. I read a lot of books. Muta ako sa napakaraming doktor. I followed a lot of health experts. Kasi syempre, gusto ko ma-extend yung buhay ko. Gusto, marami pa akong pangarap sa buhay. And the things that I'll be sharing with you today are the practical tips on how we can help support our immune function. So, what is immune function? Ito po yung kakayanan ng katawan na labanan, whatever disease na pwede nating harapin. At the same time, yung mga foreign bodies like um, bacteria o colds o kung anong paman yung pwedeng pumasok sa katawan natin. Kasi ang katawan natin has the capability to heal itself. Yun nga lang, sabi ni Dr. Foreman kanina, with the right materials, it can double or triple the protective power of the immune system. So, ang ituturo ko po sa inyo, how to give your body the right materials para malakas po ang ating immune function. So, these tips that I'll be sharing with you, I got from Dr. Myron Wentz, the founder of Hisane Health Sciences. He is a microbiologist and immunologist by profession. At ito po yung sabi niya, to continue feeling your best right now, Provide your body with good nutrition, avoid sugar and processed foods, get quality rest, take your nutritional supplements, reduce stress, regularly move your body, and reduce your exposure to toxins and electromagnetic radiation. Take this advice with a grain of salt. Iba-iba po yung katawan natin. I believe in bio-individuality. What worked for me may not work for you. Uh, try listening to your body, understand your body. Ano ba yung kailangan ng katawan mo? The more na mas nagiging conscious po tayo kung ano yung needs ng katawan natin, the more na kapag kami naramdaman tayo, ay, kailangan ko mas matulog na mas maaga, ay, kailangan ko kumain na maayos, ay, kailangan ko magdagdag ng tubig. So, let's start. Number one, have a good night's sleep. Take quality rest. Alam nyo, kaya ako number one to. Kasi ito yung nine-neglect ko, ko po talaga dati. Kasi parang feeling ko dati, sleep is for the week. So may mga goals ako, kailangan. Hindi ako matulog, kailangan kuhanin ko lahat ng mga goals ko. So I was that type of person before. But then I realized, totoo pala talaga. If you have a good night's sleep, then you will have a good day tomorrow. So ngayon, I am very deliberate in sleeping on time. Number one tip on sleeping is have a routine. Kailangan po, alam po na katawan natin kung kailan tayo matutulog. For example, an hour before po tayo matulog, dapat medyo nag-slow down na tayo or um, ginagawa na natin yung mga habits natin bago tayo matulog para bibigyan natin pala yung signal ng katawan natin na, oh, IV, oras na matulog ha, mamaya-maya mararamdaman mo na yung antok mo. Di ba nararamdaman nyo ba yung kapag ka may routine kayo tapos pinalo nyo yung habits nyo? Di ba nakakaantok talaga siya? So, it's also important po na apart from the routine, kailangan po madilim din yung kwarto natin. Yan. Tanggalin po natin yung mga cellphones na yung mga gadgets because they are emitting blue lights. And blue lights may tell your eyes now, good morning pa, huwag ka munang matulog. So tanggalin po natin yan sa ating mga kama, sa tabi ng ating kama and put it on another room. So diliman po natin yung kwarto kasi kapag ka madilim po yung kwarto, doon naglalabas ang katawan natin ng melatonin. Ito po yung hormone na nagkikickstart ng ating sleep-wake cycle. Number two po, very crucial po ang ating nutrition. Alam nyo, dati kasi, syempre, yung pagkain ko, no, mas bata ako, ko ano yung available lang, ko ano yung nabibili ko sa fast foods, ba? Tapos, masasarap na nasa convenience stores. Wow, grabe, syempre. Pagka meron ka ng perang konti, diba? Kuha ka na lang na kuha ko, na hindi mo nakakain, dati bibili mo na lang siya. But then, I realized, I am what I eat. Whatever I eat, yun po yung pumapasok sa lahat ng cells ng katawan ko. That's why right now, I'm somewhat conscious with what I eat. So, ang goal po natin is at least 80% na kinakain natin healthy. 
20% yung medyo ano ba, yung mga gusto nyo itry dyan. Pero as much as possible, malaking chunk po ng pagkain natin healthy. Bakit? Kasi ang katawan po natin, yung po ang pagkain niya. Kung ano kinakain natin, yun din po ang pumapasok sa mga sales natin. So, um, I also like uh, buying local. Bakit local? Kasi kapag kayo mga fruits and vegetables po natin, galing yan sa malalayong lugar, maaga silang pinipitas at hindi po nila nakukuha yung nutritional value na maaari pa sana nilang makuha kung pinitas sila ng medyo mas late pa. For example po, yung banana, di ba pag nakikita natin sa market color, green pa siya. So, Iba kasi yung kapag pinitas siya ng yellow, meaning na-absorb niya kung ano yung dapat sana ma-absorb niya. And kapag ka-local din po yung mga binibili natin, fresh pa po sila, no? hindi po malayo yung binyahin nila. And I also like organic, yan, kung pwede, organic. Pero kung hindi, basta kumain po tayo ng fruits and vegetables. But if there is an available na... Um, Uh, supplier ng uh, organic fruits and vegetables, siguro much better for our um, immune function po yun. But if not, kain po ta pa rin tayo ng fruits and vegetables, ba? Diba? It's better than nothing. Okay? So at the same time, bawasan po natin yung mga processed foods, yung mga sugary foods. Ito nga yung narinig ko eh. Meron daw po ba sa backyard na tinatanim, kunwari yung chichiria? Oh anak! Kumuha ka ng chichiria dyan, bumunot ka na dyan ng chichiria sa puno natin, o pumitas ka na ng chichiria sa puno natin. Wala naman po, di ba? O kaya, uh, o, oh, uh, hukayin mo na yan, kumuha ka na ng uh, chichiria dyan, wala po tayong ganong mga klase ng sources ng pagkain. So, I believe that God provided us with uh, the food that we have to eat to sustain our life in this planet. Take your nutritional supplements. Supplements are there to give you an adequate amount of nutrients, especially if you don't have a variety of healthy food. Uh, it can help with uh, deficiency, nutrients deficiency. Uh, this is not a replacement for your medicines. It's uh, nutritional supplements, okay? So how do I know, Ivy? Ano ba dapat talaga yung criteria ko to, to get the right supplements for me? So number one that you need to look For in a nutritional supplement is yung tinatawag natin na potency. Kung ano yung nasa label, yun ba talaga yung laman ng supplement? Number two, you also have to look at their safety, potential toxicities. Kung baga, long term na gagamitin mo yung supplements, meron bang uh, adverse effect yan sa katawan mo? Meron bang potential toxicities? Meron bang magbibuild up na hindi magaganda sa katawan natin? Number three, You have to look at the certifications. Uh, NSF certified ba to? What is NSF? Um, National Sanitation Foundation. What is the quality? Pharma grade quality ba siya? Number four, you also have to look at the bioavailability. Kung baga sa uminom ka na 100%, ilang percent kaya yun natatanggap ng katawan mo? Ilang percent kaya yun naka-absorb ng katawan mo? And number five that you have to look for in a nutritional supplement is the contents. Ang content ba nito, eh, yun ba talaga ang kailangan ng katawan ko o dahil yun lang ang sikat ngayon? So, pagka gagamit po tayo ng supplements, we have to at least be very mindful sa quality nito and um, take it with uh, meals. So, after uh, within meals po ang paggamit ng mga supplements. So, uh, look for the right supplements for you. There are um, multivitamins, meron din for specific needs ng katawan natin. Also, it's important to exercise regularly. Kailangan ginagalaw natin yung katawan natin kasi di ba kaya nga tayo gumagalaw. So, kailangan ginagamit po natin siya. What we don't use, we lose. So, if you want to have um, a healthy body for the long haul, for the long term, kailangan ginagamit po natin yung mga muscles natin. And uh, yung pag exercise it gives us happiness, di ba? Hindi lang siya para maging healthy tayo, binibigyan din tayo ng magandang perspective sa buhay eh. So, kung nasa bahay po kayo ngayon, marami po sa YouTube na mga home exercises na pwede ninyong gawin ngayon. Also, next is you have to check if um, exposed po kayo sa mga toxins. I suggest na yung mga ginagamit po natin sa na mga household cleaners, yan, yung mga shampoo natin, yung mga sabon natin, if we can choose um, greener products, kumbaga wala po mga paraben, uh, walang uh, toxicities, hindi toxic, 
sa katawan natin. Bakit natin kailangan umiwas sa mga toxic na mga products? Kasi, yung katawan natin, marami na siyang iniisip. So, kung maglo-load pa tayo ng mga toxins sa katawan natin, marami na siyang pinaprocess sa katawan natin. Tapos, bibigyan pa natin siya ng parang problema, di ba? It can lead to various diseases then, especially if yung exposure natin is in large amounts. Next is, we also have to be mindful sa mga electromagnetic radiation na exposed po tayo. This was one of the greatest discoveries ko nung naghanap ako ng solution para gumaling ako. So, syempre, lahat ng pwede kong gawin, gagawin ko na, di ba? Para lang makalabas ako. And I realized na ang katawan pala natin, marami din siya mga electric signals, may meron siyang sarili ding electromagnetic field, no? And researchers say that electromagnetic radiation or yung mga tinatawag natin EMF electromagnetic frequencies coming from Wi-Fi, from our cell phones, yung mga power lines po na nasa paligid natin, they emit EMFs that can interfere sa natural processes ng ating katawan. That's why, bago po matulog, make sure na nakapatay na yung Wi-Fi or ilayo natin yung mga cell phones natin. Kung nakasaksak po yung charger nyo sa may ulo, tanggalin nyo po yun sa ibang kwarto nyo na lang po i-charge. So, kaya po maganda na bago matulog, clear po yung paligid natin na from the electrical devices, just to be sure po. So, iba pa po nating tips, sunlight, yan, get your vitamin D from the sun, especially before 8am, ang sarap magpaaraw, no? nakakabus din po ng positivity ang pagpapaaraw. Vitamin D can help with um, your bone and um, muscles integrity. Next naman is water intake. Yan, if you can uh, drink 2 liters per day or more. So, depende po yan sa kilograms ng katawan natin. Yan, take water all throughout the day. Sip, sip po tayo. No? So, hindi parang isang lagukan po yung 2 liters yung iinumin natin. Last but not the least is mindfulness. So, nararamdaman nyo bumabagal na yung pagsasalita ko. Nakakakalma. Bago tayo matulog, pakalmahin na natin yung mga nerves natin. Kung may mga iniisip tayo bago matulog, isulat na natin. Tapos bukas mo na po isipin. This thing was actually helped me heal. I learned how to slow down. I learned how to slow down while thinking positively. I learned how to be grateful with my life. While I'm watching my breath, inhale, exhale, nararamdaman nyo ba yun? Nakakakalma, di ba? And ito yung part ng lahat ng ginawa ko all throughout these years na nakatulong po sa akin to get to where I am today. That's why it's very important to just be. Be in the present. Be grateful. Count your blessings. So those were my top tips for you. You know what? I learned through those years na nasa kama lang ako. Nasa kama ako and I still have hope. Naghahanap ako ng solutions, naghahanap ako ng mga taong pwedeng tumulong sa akin. Lagi ako nagdadasal na, Lord, bigyan niyo po ako ng mga tao na, na maaaring tumulong sa akin makalabas dito. But you know what? God gave me answers. But at the end of the day, it's still up to me. However, I will apply all the learnings na matututunan ko, whatever it is that you will learn from all those teachers, from all those books and all those seminars to help yourself heal, it's still up to you. It's still about your decision to do it in your life. And now as um, a health and empowerment coach, I want to see people break through those barriers. Na alam niyo yon, those things that are happening to us, it's not just happening to us, it's happening for us for a reason. So don't waste your experiences. Don't waste the process. Meron pong pwedeng maituro sa atin yan. Just believe that you are gaining the knowledge through that experience and you will come out victorious. So I want to encourage you kasi... I'm, I was so blessed na maraming tao na nag-encourage sa akin na kinukulit ko na meron ba talaga solusyon? Makakalabas ba talaga ako dito? And the only thing that I was holding on back then was my desire to take care of my son. 
So he was like one to two years old that time. Well, may nakahiga ako. And the only thing that I was doing that time was to breastfeed him. Yun lang yung nagagawa ko. But dahil gusto ko siyang makitang lumaki, gusto ko pang tumanda kasama yung asawa ko, I was intentional. Can you say, I am intentional? Also, alam ko marami kayong matututunan. Marami pa kayong ma-acquire na knowledge about health and life. Paano ko idea apply to sa buhay? How can I make this process successful? How can I be intentional? Number one tip for you is have a routine. If it is important to you, put it in your schedule. Kung gusto mo kumain ng healthy, put it in your, your schedule na bumili ng healthy na pagkain. If sleeping is important to you, put it in your schedule kung kailan ka tamang matutulog. So, if you want to transform your life, we also have to transform our habits. We also have to transform the steps that we are taking every day. So, take charge of your life. So, you will see the results that you want in your life. And number two tip for you is surround yourself with the, your support system. What do I mean by support system? Ito yung mga tao na I'm very open about my emotions, Pwede ako maging totoo sa kanila. And I know that these people will not judge me na maarte ako or umaarte lang ako or I'm just making excuses because they knew that I was struggling that time. So I'm I'm very happy that I am surrounded with family and friends na nagbibigay din ng suggestions at nagbibigay sa akin ng lakas ng loob na laban lang Ivy, makakalabas ka din dyan. So yun din po yung gusto ko sabihin sa inyo na Whatever it is that you're going through right now, laban lang, kapit lang, makakalabas ka rin dyan. That's why I am here right now as a transformed person and what I want to do is pay it forward. Gusto ko pong i-share sa mga tao la, yung mga natutunan ko, yung, yung bravery, compassion, yung faith na nakuha ko from those experiences and I want to pay it forward. This is what I do. I really like em uh, helping empower people. Of course, at the end of the day, it's still up to them. It's still up to their actions. And you may want to visit this um, link that we, we are showing you right now after watching this video. What you can see in that link is what I do as a leader, as a mentor, and as a coach. And you may also fill out the information that we will be asking from you because you may sign up as a USANA preferred consultant and avail of up to 20% discount on all of our products. USANA actually helps me integrate my work and my life and I'm just so happy extending this discount to you. As a final message, I want to leave you this quote by Heather Shock. You will never be satisfied by work until you are satisfied by life. That was amazing. I was like working and working for endless hours because I was looking for satisfaction. Not knowing the satisfaction is already around me and it's already within me. So live your life to the full. Enjoy your life. Go for your dreams, go for your aspirations, and do not forget yourself. Take care of yourselves. Thank you so much, and God bless you. Before